Want to share from the academic side, um, as uh, we uh, need to work with the government, uh, especially the central government here in 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 Chiang Mai. Uh, and uh, so far, we we try so hard to connect uh, between the critical thinking, critical approaches to the practical policy analysis and even policy design. And I think it's very important to. I mean, uh, it, it may not be the, the right thing to do, but uh, I, I would say this is the uh, interpretation that I have to the critical policy studies. I think actually critical can, uh, critical can be practical. So, um, and it's very important for the, the young generation like us. I mean, uh, the, the new generation of the think tank as a theater uh, or, or already mentioned in his work that we, need to work to push forward some, some public policy. And I think uh, this is very important to uh, move a little bit from a kind of ontological and epistemological discussion to the methodological uh, implication for policy practitioner to, to, to try to put forward some, some public policy as the kind of, uh, uh, as I already mentioned to Rosanna, that uh, for me um, to work with the government Actually, it means that you're not really radical, right? Because you try to compromise to the government and their technocratic uh, perspective, to be honest. But I think uh, it's very important and very, um, it, it's, it's very difficult, but we need to do this in the real world policy practices that uh, we need to try to assimilate our, our thinking, uh, the critical approaches to the practical uh, real world policy analysis. And I, I want to just want to make a very short um, sharing what we have done so far to show how we try to connect between um, critical policy study and real world practices. I think it's very important to emphasize that uh, deliberative policy analysis seem to be a very productive method that we can uh, use to uh, create the uh, sound public policy based on the agreement of the people who participate in the forum. And, uh, but, but, but nowadays, to be honest, Frank, a lot of people, uh, even uh, the people that we know, they try to use uh, deliberation in their own uh, way, in uh, technocratic, in technical, uh, way of doing, but but again, it's very important that when we put forward uh, deliberative uh, policy analysis, we need to realize that uh, there are unequal power relation there, and we need to um, build the new uh, capacity, new skill for the uh, policy analyst to be more. Uh, uh, the role that we can call facilitator or even mediator. And also I think it's very uh, important that uh, interpretive method very useful as well, especially in the, uh, the world that they want to uh, chip the narrative, they want to uh, reconstruct something. And I think uh, it's very important to try to communicate the complicated uh, idea of uh, interpretive inquiry into specific interpretive methods. For example, we create the card and we uh, use card to uh, lead the discussion to allow people to think in different way, different metaphor, different narrative uh, to thinking about the myth that uh, embedded in the policy uh, problem to unpack the policy uh, agenda and try to find the alternative uh, policy solution. We also um, create the guide that uh, try to promote the critical theory uh, 
or critical approaches and try to put forward them to be the good frame to make a good policy. For example, thinking about justice, human rights, inclusiveness, and even democracy. Uh, yes, uh, we we try to. It, it, it's, it's like kind of the experiment in in the old mindset. But uh, yes, I think critical can be experimental as well. Uh, especially try to you know uh, test this and that and and learn. But but yes, as uh, Rosana and even uh, Doug already mentioned, it's very important to reflect it along the way that we, we do this. But I think it's very important to open the, the new, um, I mean, the new door, uh, the new window for policy practitioner to get into critical policy study. Uh, the, the principle that we think is very important when we are gonna go further with this is that we need to recognize from the beginning about the different mode of ra rationality. We need to count the different uh, mode of knowledge. For example, we need to incorporate normative assumption as Fang already mentioned uh, in his work and also thinking about or more sensitive to emotion. Just want to give you a very uh, brief uh, guide that we create to facilitate uh, the forum, the policy deliberation. Uh, we use Frank idea from technical verification, institutional verification, uh, uh, societal vindication, and ideological choice, for example. We use the uh, idea of Dysek, John Dysek, to frame the way that we're going to uh, build the meaningful dis deliberation, for example. And we use Fung uh, uh, participatory design to help us to thinking about who gonna invite into the forum and what mode of communication that we're gonna plan forward and what kind of power that they, uh, they, they're gonna have to join our session that we work with the central government. And we try to incorporate uh, the, 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 the role of emotion. I think it's very important what we uh, uh, try to do so far, for example, social mood scanning we also create the new policy uh, frameworks that try to go beyond uh, agenda, you know, uh, setting and thinking about policy formulation, policy legitimation, and policy intervention in the old mindset. But we chip away and start uh, from agenda building, agenda framing, by uh, start with uh, people hope and fear, for example, and then we move. Uh, to organize the forum, to ask people to come and share uh, the way that we're going to build up hope to COVID fear. And then we try to transform hopeful into wishful and put forward wishful into uh, toward willful, for example. This is not just only to chip the narrative, but actually it chip the way of thinking, the way of doing, uh, determined by the way of thinking. Uh, we use a lot of card. We use the uh, card at gallery, do photo, we call photo talks, and also uh, the interactive exhibition for people to address uh, what we call uh, city hope and city fear, something like this. Just, just want to, to share something that we have done so far. And this is the way that we try to interpret the contribution that critical policy study can be in practical world, or we can call critical policies study in action, yeah.